Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. Um, so this is take two. I started to film, well, I kind of filmed the introduction and uh, then I started to put the first lot of clothing on and I realized that I didn't have the sound on. So um, I'm having to kind of do a retake, which in my experience never works as well. Um, second time around, it's never as good as the kind of first spontaneous one. Sounds a bit daft, but um, you know how everything leads me to a digression. Well, I remember I was at work and the children were school age, obviously, kind of secondary school. Um, and I went back to college and the company used to let me finish at two o'clock on a Thursday and then I'd go, um, well, one o'clock and then I'd start college at two o'clock and, uh, and then I'd stay on and I'd do the afternoon and the evening. And it was, um, what was it? I think it was an HND or an HNC, I can't remember, in business management. Anyway, it was quite demanding. And um, I had to do a whole piece of coursework and this was two houses ago and in that house we had like a little office area which used to be the kitchen but we built an extension and so the computer and everything was just in there and you know back in the day they were great big contraptions weren't they anyway i typed up all this coursework and um my own fault really because i hadn't saved it but one of the children unplugged because the lead used to go round into kind of the living room socket and uh, one of the children unplugged it to plug in something else and I lost all my work all the work that I've been working on all that day I went ballistic I honestly went ballistic because I had been in the flow you know in the zone and I, <laughs> I mean I look back now Really, it was funny, but it wasn't funny at the time. And uh, yeah, I had to redo it all and it never felt quite as good. So I think oftentimes, you you know, the first take is the best. As usual, I digress. So I hope you're all well and um, enjoying the last. It's still warm here. I don't know. Uh, I think the, the evenings are getting cooler and there's definitely a kind of a, a, an autumnal feel to the weather. Anyway, today I'm doing a Roman haul and I think they've dropped the Roman originals, haven't they? They just seem to call themselves Roman now. And um, a few people asked me to do a Roman haul. Now, I'm going to be honest and say I struggled to find a selection of clothes to show you. Um, a lot of their things are not quite my cup of tea, but there are a few things that I really liked and I've chosen those. And I hope you like them too. I feel very nasally today. Um, somebody thought I still had a sore throat. I've got a really deep voice. Um, I've always had a deep voice ever since I was a child. And um, do you remember who was that singer? Oh, good Lord. I'm just saying how old I am again. What's her name? Helen Shapiro. She had a really dark, uh, deep voice. And... Uh, when the headmaster introduced me on a, on a school play or something and he said our very own Helen Shapiro and I was mortified really but I think she sang um, Bobby's Girl didn't she or was that Susan Morn and now I am proving that I am officially 350 years old but anyway whatever I've got a deep voice there's nothing wrong with my voice at all it comes and goes deeper and yeah look at Dolly find a new sunspot um, so anyway, I'll just get on with today's haul and uh, I'll start with this jumper. Now, it is, they've got all these like security things on their clothes. They must get a lot of things, you know, worn and sent back is all I can think. So this one is viscose polyester and polyamide. And I bought this, in, this one in a 20 because I wanted it to be loose it's a lovely color it's this kind of dark petrol blue i think you'd call it what do they call it um ju wonder what that's short for anyway 
nice color love this color and uh oh, just a quick slurp of tea and i've got it on with these leggings now i'm not a big leggings wearer well i'm a big leggings wearer but i don't wear a lot of leggings and um these caught my eye because they've got this faux leather panel at the front now just rest assured I would only wear these with a very long top. In fact, I would wear these with a longer top than this. So I'll show you the, the jumper. It's a nice, nice fit. I mean, as I say, I bought it in the 20 because I wanted it to be kind of relaxed. I'll just um, tilt the camera slightly so you can see full length. Now, like I say, I, I wouldn't be wearing these leggings. Sorry. Wouldn't be wearing these leggings with... Um, a top as short as this but I want to show you the jumper first of all it is a nice length sort of to there um, so quite quite useful I'd say um, and I've got it on with these that are they're kind of faux leather at the front and then um, kind of ponte at the back and these were in the sale to fall over um, and these are only £10.50 and with a longer top, I quite like them. Um, I mean, they're bound to be mostly man-made fibre. Oh, and these were 20 because I think they were sold out in the 18 and I didn't want them super tight either. So they're quite long. You can see there's some ruching at the bottom there, but that's fine. I don't, I don't mind that in a legging. So I'll, um, I've got um, another couple of jumpers, so I'll try those on. And um, I think I've got some dresses too. So uh, yeah, this came in loads of colours, by the way. I think this came in about six or seven different colours. So it's certainly it's got a nice feel to it. It's really soft and it feels like nice quality. I don't know what their customer service is like. They're quite kind of, what's the word? On their website, they don't, they don't come across as friendly. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but you know, with their returns, you have to return online um, purchases via the post or you know, the delivery agent. If you send them back um, and they charge three pounds, I think, for the whole return. But if you take them back to the store, you only get um, a credit note. Anyway, so that's number one. Well, kind of one and two, but uh, I'll, I'll see what else I've got. And if it's more jumpers, I'll put them on with these. So that last blue sweater jumper, that was um, 18 pounds. It's very cheap, isn't it? Um, yeah, 18 pounds, that looks pretty good for that money. Now this one is cotton polyester polyamide, and this is in an 18, and this is 28 pound 50. Um, and I'll confess, when I got it out of the bag, I, I didn't like it. But actually, I like it on. So it just shows you, doesn't it? And I've turned the neck in because when I turned it out, it was having an argument with me. But um, turned in, I think it's quite nice. I've kept the um, leggings on. But this is still shorter. I would like a top more like to there with these. But um, it's got a nice dolman sleeve. I'm not sure how it would wash. It's very kind of lightweight. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't feel kind of cheap. It doesn't feel expensive either. But I do, I do quite like it. A little bit different anyway. So yeah, that's um, the second jumper. I think there's another one, I think. And then a couple of cardigans and a couple of dresses. Yeah, not bad at all, really. I just, I'm just not sure how it will wash. That would be my concern with this. I think you'd have to be very, very careful. Maybe a cold wash and dry flat. This is 30, it says so. You pay your money, you take your chance, I guess. So I didn't actually have another jumper. It was uh, a couple of cardigans. So this dress is what they call 
um, curve abstract print stretch dress and this is 28.50. I did actually, I've just remembered, I did get a 25% discount off all full price items. And um, for those of you that don't do that, I can't find the, the um, what it's made of, but if, if you don't have a discount voucher or you know you haven't got a code that's come through when you've Googled Roman or whatever, just type in Roman discount code into Google. And like I say, I found a 25% voucher um, discount code, which is fabulous, isn't it? I mean, quarter off. So this dress, ow, ah, I just dug one fingernail up the other now, horse, excuse me. Um, nice shape, quite low here. Um, so that would need either a little cami or a little pin or something. Nice fabric, nice pattern, quite clingy and too short for me. So um, you could only describe that as my haunches, couldn't you? And it's a bit clingy around my belly, which is quite bloated. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not, you know, it's not my favorite by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, if you were a bit shorter, I think it's a very flattering shape and the pattern, um, you know, disguises a lot. So there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not for me. It's just a bit too short for me. I like my dresses to be a couple of inches longer than that. So that's the, the dress. Now this, I know, I, do you know, it's good sometimes because I'd completely forgotten. Do you remember I bought a star cardigan last year? Now this one is from their Curve range. And, um, oh, this is Curve as well. Um, da, 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 da. This is 31.50, this cardigan. It's a really nice weight. And I did go for the grey. It does come in other colours. But this this is real this is a real cotigan. This um this one. It's plain at the back. Sleeves are long. Maybe my arms are short. I'm coming to the conclusion that I've got short arms. I think that's a very useful cardigan. I wore mine a lot last year actually. And I think because it's the curve range, it is a tad more generous. I've, I've got the other one is not from the curve range. And interestingly, when it's not in the curve range, you get stars on the back. No idea. It's obviously cost cutting of some description. So yeah, I don't know what this is. I, I should imagine it's an acrylic wool mix. No, it's no wool. Acrylic polyester elastane. So nice two patch pockets there. I do like this a lot and I think you get a lot of use from it. You know, if you're in and out of the car, oftentimes it's all you need if it's not raining. So, um, yeah, I think I've got another dress and another cardigan. And this second dress is, um, it feels more like gum metal colour rather than black. I don't know if you can see that. It's very thin, very thin fabric. This is also 28.50. Um, but I really like the style of this one. I like the, the scoop neck. So it's low enough to kind of be flattering, but not low, you know, too low to give you issues. Good length sleeve. Pretty sure this is polyester, but the link will be below. It's got pockets, you know, not kind of just side seam pockets. They're actually part of the design. And um, it's a good length. This is an 18. I think I would need kind of better underwear with this um, but this is the kind of dress that I would have worn for work because it's really forgiving forgiving around your tummy you know it's flattering because it's got the waist here now there is a bit of puckering on this sleeve a uh, seam and I'm not sure if it's because of that tag in there pulling it out or whether a little bit of steaming would work but it's a very very easy dress to just pull on and um, I, I'm just trying to think if this is, um, yeah, this is part of the curve range. That last one wasn't, this one is. So this goes up to the larger sizes. And as I recall, 
I thought it was going to be shorter, but um, it, it, I'm happy with this length. That's the kind of length I like. So uh, with a nice pair of boots or black tights and shoes, whatever, I think this is a very, very handy dress. Now, I've also got the cardigan, the star cardigan that's not in the curve range. And as you can see, this one has got the stars all over, but the fabric is completely different. It, it doesn't feel good, I'm afraid. It doesn't feel good quality. And this one was um, 27 pounds and it is acrylic and wool. So it just shows you uh, what was the other one? The other one was 31.50, so it was cheaper, but it feels cheaper. So I'll just pop that on. I'm getting really hot now because um, it, it, the sun's come out again. I'm not complaining, no pockets on this one, but you do, do get stars on the back. So you can see, although this is an 18, it's, it's not as full as the other one. This one kind of, you know, if I let it fall naturally, it's got a good six inch gap at the front, which I wouldn't like. I would, if I, yeah, I wouldn't like this one for that reason, because if I'd be doing this all the time, whereas the other one felt much bigger and with the pockets, you can kind of cuddle it up. So I can't keep that on for a second longer because it's just too warm. Um, I'm too warm, it's too warm. So um, yeah, so that was that really. Um, not a huge Roman haul, but uh, if you're new to the brand, they've got, I tell you, their, their photographs are good because quite often they've got video and they do do about four or five photographs of each garment, which is a plus. Um, what else? Yeah, the, oh yeah, I didn't pay for next day's delivery, but it came next day, which was pretty impressive. And just a couple of kind of roundup things. If you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you could. Give it a go anyway, if you hate it, unsubscribe, but please don't. Um, Billy has settled into school just so well, I could not be happier um, as how he has settled in, and long may that last. Um, Hattie had a couple of wobbly days actually, and she normally loves school, but she had a new teacher and um, she didn't kind of gel with him immediately, but we're hoping that that will change quickly. She's a very, very bright girl, so I don't think she'll have any problems. So hopefully, I haven't heard today how she's gone in, but she's been kind of doing two good days, no, two bad days, a good couple of days and blah, blah, blah. So we will see. And um, yeah, what else? Oh, I've got a couple of exciting things that might be coming through, but uh, I can't tell you about those yet. And other than that, that'll do for me today. And um, I hope you have a wonderful um, week and I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.